Hello, good morning and welcome to another Friday Spiritual Lecture. Today we're following on from the Monday motto of it is safe to love and be loved. Now love is who we are. It's the highest state of who we are. The universe is love and we're one with the universe. We've come from it, so of course we are love. Love is the food that makes us grow, that warms and nourishes us. But we, we reject it, as it's also the energy that can hurt more than anything else. And when we go through life carrying these moments of hurt, we begin to doubt that love is the way. And so we close ourselves down to love. And as we've seen in life, love does not always come easy to everyone. Our personal history, and it is our personal history, has led us to close ourselves off to love thinking that we're safest when we don't open our heart anymore. And so we build a literal wall around us, around our heart, so that we can never be hurt again. But what if we let go? If we don't let go, we end up hurting ourselves. You know, I remember someone telling me they had a perfect childhood. The only thing that was missing was love. This is not perfection. What was interesting was how this person was unable to embrace true love now because their heart had never experienced it. And all their joy was tempered because of the lack of love. Riches and abundance really don't fill the hole that's left by love. But love is also the one force that can reawaken our heart when it's been hurt. Love can reopen any door if we choose to allow it in and allow the, the tears to flow and the pain to release. So many are scared of doing that because they're terrified of feeling that pain again. And so they sit in their pain. But if we could take a moment to face what we feel, then love can heal what hurts. I understand why people reject love. Love being such a powerful force has been used to manipulate, coerce, abuse. Love can appear to be so trusting, so open, so welcoming. that We throw ourselves in wholeheartedly only for our heart to be crushed later when it turns out the love wasn't real. Our pain ends up taking us to one side or another. We have to defend ourselves and in doing so we hate somebody else. It's the only way we can protect our heart. We close down and then we struggle to reconnect with anyone. And we live a life constantly on the lookout, trusting no one, keeping our heart under lock and key. But in doing so, we shut ourselves off from the joy that love brings. We forget that love is actually unaligned. It doesn't take sides. Love is purity. This is its power. It doesn't distinguish between anyone. It just loves. To love someone doesn't mean we have to like them nor even forgive them. But in loving others, we bring more love into our own hearts, into our own lives. And in this energy, we blossom. In a state of love, we expand into all that we can be. And in love, we stand in our most incredible strength. Love always wins. Don't run from love any longer. Don't believe that love will weaken you or allow abuse back in. It won't. You don't need to protect yourself from love. It is safe for you to step into love because then you will know that you are love and you are loved. So often we wear a, a suit of armour thinking that this is going to be our protection. But it becomes brittle. You know, we don't, we don't feel able to move, to be fluid, to change. But love, love protects us no matter where we go, no matter who we're with. And love, it helps other people step into who they are, into their highest self. If we give love to others and we encourage them to feel the love in themselves. It breaks down all barriers. And gradually, you become unified. And love is the force that unifies us all. Remember, you are not your past. Whatever has happened then is done. Make a choice to step forward into love. I thank you for joining me here today and I hope that you've enjoyed these few wise words and I look forward to welcoming you again.
like blessings to you all. Bye-bye.